Hello everyone and welcome to another recommends video. This time we're going to be doing something slightly different. We will be looking at the original novel of Planet of the Apes by Pierre Boulle and comparing it to the different movie series and seeing which one comes the closest. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Give us a thumbs up and drop us a comment. And now let's begin. The novel was published in 1963 in France as La Planète des Sages in the US as Planet of the Apes, and in the UK as Monkey Planet. The book begins in a frame story, something none of the series does. So when the book begins in this frame story, you have a couple, Jin and Phyllis, who are spending some vacation time in space in their solar sail ship. They come across a battle floating in space, when they bring the battle on board, inside it, they find some papers, a manuscript. And it's the manuscript that tells the story. The manuscript begins in the year 2500. Three men are on the first interstellar flight, their destination, Betelgeuse. They are Professor Antel, his assistant, Arthur Lavaine, and Ulysses Meru, who is the author of the manuscript. The journey is supposed to last two years ship time, 350 years Earth time. They get to the Betelgeuse system and they discover that there's a planet in orbit around it that is habitable. Besides being a planet with air similar to Earth, nothing else looks like Earth. It has a greenish atmosphere and a greenish sea. So they hop in one of their shuttlecraft and leave their ship in orbit and land on the planet. Now that beginning is totally different from anything any of the movies portrayed. The one that comes close is the 1968 Planet of the Apes movie starring Charleston Heston. Now, in that movie, they crashed on the planet and they didn't realize that the planet they crashed on was Earth. In their book, they named the planet that they landed on Soro. Another thing that was similar in this movie and the book is that in both, they met humans first. In the movie, they had their clothes stolen and ripped up while they were swimming. In the book, they were chased and then had their clothes ripped off of them. Another thing that was different is that in the book, the apes spoke a different language that Ulysses had to learn. But in the movies, just about all of them, they all spoke English because after all, it was always Earth that these movies took place on. So in all, the 1968 movie is the one that came closest to following the book. But as the movie went on, it deviated more and more from the book. And the rest of the series just simply went off in a totally different direction. In the book, Ulysses end up having a son with Nova. But there's also a love triangle as Zira, the chimpanzee, and Ulysses are in love. And towards the end, it was Cornelius and Zira that helped Ulysses, Nova, and the baby escape from the planet. They did it under the guise of launching a satellite, and Ulysses was able to get his family back into his ship and headed back towards Earth. Another two years past ship time, which is 350 years Earth time, they get to Earth and in orbit, he recognizes all of the continents and oceans. They take the shuttle down and land in France. They see Paris is still there, as is the Eiffel Tower. They land at the airport and after 700 years, he's back on Earth. He notices that things seem to be slightly different because the men that are coming to him, the two of them, are driving an antique truck that should be in a museum. And the passenger in the truck has badges that indicate he's an officer. When the man steps out, Ulysses realizes that the man is a gorilla. Now that is how the manuscript ends. And that is similar to the way the 2001 Planet of the Apes movie with Mark Wahlberg ended. In that movie, he crashes into Washington DC and when he looks up at the Lincoln Memorial, he finds that it is now General Thade who is sitting there instead of Lincoln. And when all of the first responders get to him, they are all apes. Now there's another twist in the book. When you go back to the frame story, it turns out that the couple that was reading the manuscript were chimpanzees. And that's how the book ends. Now, the third series, the 2011 series, is more of a remake of the 70s 
movie series. It really has nothing to do with the book. Two other things. In the book, Ulysses was either allowed to leave Earth or escaped because the manuscript was found in a battle floating out in the middle of space. And two, in the 2001 movie, Leo, Mark Wahlberg's character, Ireland's assumed, went to two separate alternate universes, and both times the planet he crashed on was Earth. Anyway, that's it for now. I want to thank you for watching and listening. Consider subscribing, drop us a comment, and give us a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.